I'm Rob Cassidy. I'm the chief editor of Building Design and Construction. I'm here in Canton, Massachusetts at the campus of Sika Sarnafil. And we're going to be going inside their factory to look at their roofing membrane recycling program. I'm here with Brian Whalen. He's the senior vice president here at Sika Sarnafil. And Brian, we're going to talk about some of the environmental considerations that you've brought to bear here at Sika Sarnafil. Uh, what's going on? Okay. Well, we have a sustainability platform, and it starts with this. This is our proven thermoplastic roof membrane. It has a life expectancy of 30, 40 years. This is the real stuff this right is here. The, this is a roll of finished membrane right here. In addition to that, um, we make the material white reflective, so whatever sunlight hits the roof itself and energy and temperature gets reflected back up into the atmosphere, not into the building. So besides its long-lasting life, we also provide energy efficiency with the white reflective roof. You know, my, my readers are very concerned about durability uh, because they, they consider that an important part of green. What, how long will this last? Well, th we have roofs that are in place for 30, 40 years at this point in time. So that's a real green factor. In that Absolutely, regard. yes. Now, we, normally in your manufacturing process, you'd be chopping off pieces of that that, yep. that come out something like this. That's right? correct. Okay, so these are the trimmings from our production waste and scrap, and these are now recycled back into the finished roof membrane itself. So nothing goes to landfill, um, everything gets recycled. So this would have been waste before, and That's now correct. it's being turned back into the product. That's correct. Okay, let's go take a look over at your recycling operation, see how it works. Okay? Sounds good. Great. Right. Dave, tell us about the recycling program that you've implemented here at Sika Sarnafil. Well, the most important thing we want to do is we want to keep our trim and all of our scrap material out of landfill. So we had to find a way that we could reuse this material back into our product. So this was stuff that was coming off the line, right? That, That's that right. Brian showed That's us. right. And this would be, normally this would go into a landfill and, and cause problems. That's right. And it's, a, it's valuable raw material and we don't want to put it in the landfill. So what we've had to do is come up with a way to take this material that comes off the machine, get it into a form that we can reprocess it back into our membrane product. All right, but let me, let me ask you a question. I mean, what's so hard about you know, taking this and you know, cutting it off and uh, getting, right. getting the different pieces of it apart? I mean, that, that doesn't sound so hard to me. Well, this product contains a reinforcing fabric, and that fabric must be removed from the PVC in order for us to recycle it. And so we have, to it's very, very difficult to do. It's a technical challenge to remove that reinforcement layer and separate it from the PVC. Mm -hmm. That's why we have this equipment that you see behind you. What we do here is we have a series of grinders where we grind the PVC into smaller and smaller granulates in between the grinders, we have these very innovative de-dusting towers. And what these towers do is they, the lighter dust, which contains the fiber if, of the fabric, goes up the stack. The heavier PVC falls back down and goes on to the next grinder to be ground again. And the process repeats itself. The dust goes up, the PVC drops down into a form till we finally get into a form that we're able to recycle Brian, got it. Some samples of that. Can you show us what, what it looks like? What is this? That's the, the fluff waste that ends up being compacted and sent for waste to energy and also can be used as a reinforcement in concrete blocks. And this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. This is our prime raw material that comes from our product that we're able to recycle back, back into our roofing membrane. So none of this is going into landfill. None of that, and also none of the waste, none of the fluff uh, fabric goes into landfill fact, either. It's actually being used to create it, energy. It actually is being recycled for waste energy and also used in concrete blocks as a reinforcement. And so then, nothing from this process goes to landfill. And, and this, this is going up into these giant conical uh, devices we have here. Yeah, those are cyclone separators. They separate the fabric or the fiber from the air. So Dave, what's going on here with these... Uh, uh, gigantic cylinders here. Well, this is where we separate the reinforcement fiber from the PVC so that we can do our recycling. What's happening here is the all the dust from the, the three grinders that we have in series, all that dust and air is being separated in these three conical separators. The fluff, which comes from our fiber from the fabric, is collected from these separators and is screw augered out to a compactor. From the compactor, it goes to waste to energy recycling. 
It also can be used as a reinforcement in concrete blocks for construction purposes. So instead of this going into landfill and doing nothing or except causing problems, it's actually generating energy. Absolutely. Yes, that's correct. Yes. So Brian, what does all this mean to my readers who are the architects and engineers and contractors and building owners who are building these great buildings? What, what does this environment program mean to them? What, what's the benefit? Well, the exciting thing is roofs are not just keeping the water out of buildings today. They're being asked to help with the whole environmental footprint of the building itself. So we talked about the durability, we talked about the energy efficiency, we talked about the recyclability of our material. Um, so far, 24 million pounds of our material, production waste and scrap, doesn't go to landfill. It's now all uh, recycled back into the new roof membrane. 24 million pounds. 24 million pounds. Right. In addition to that, when the roof is at its final stages, so 20, 30 years later now, we can take the old roof back and recycle that back into new roof membranes. We've done that in 6 million square feet of, of old roofs. Okay, in addition to that, um, we're the only commercial roofing manufacturer that has the UL environmental certification for its recycling program. We also have ISO 14001 certification, and we also have responsible care certification. So all of these pieces form the umbrella of our sustainability message. And that allows for a more consistent quality and performance. Consistent quality and performance is, is critical through our whole process, yes. Very good. Well, Brian, thanks for this visit to Asika Sarnafil today. I've learned a lot. I hope our 75,000 readers of building design and construction have also learned something. Thanks Great. a lot. Appreciate Great. the visit. Thank you. Thanks.